Now, if you like the idea of combining lots of different images into one frame, it can be possible to do it in programs such as Lightroom and Photoshop, but Pixlr, the free editor that we've got built into the iPhotography website, has that ability and that feature now in here, which I wanted to show you. To find Pixlr to begin with, it's under the Resources tab under Pixlr Editor. And this is the first interface you'll actually see. So you can see it's a, it's a fairly new uh, feature that they built into their site but it's a really simple and very, very quick way of being able to put lots of different images in different types of combinations. So there's some presets at the top here that are already kind of designed in a certain way. So if you're wanting to maybe kind of create some sort of brochure maybe, um, or leaflet in a way with your photography, you can use some of the presets that are up here and then change a lot of the elements within it. But the simple collages at the bottom are the ones that we're gonna have a look at today. So we'll just kind of scroll down a little bit further so you can see. So you can see there is ones here where you can just choose a single image, then there's quads, uh, there's duos, and then there's a few other arrangements. If you kind of press the button at the side here, you can cycle through and see all the different variations. So I think a quite nice, simple set of nine could be quite effective. It's a lovely way of collaging lots of images together, maybe to kind of tell a story over um, you know, multiple images, but still within one frame. So simply just press use this template when you're ready. And it is simply a case of double clicking on each individual square, and it will then open up your file viewer or your window explorer, and then you can choose the appropriate image. So I'm just gonna choose a few images and to put them in and arrange them. There we go, it's as simple as that. There are further adjustments that you can make. Each of those images have been kind of created as their own layer down the side here. So if you wanted to move them around, you can do. Um, back across the left-hand side, you then also have the opportunity to actually change the shape of the image. So we've put in nine squares, but with this little option here of shape, if you press it, now you can choose any variations that are available so you can make something more star-like. So as long as you've got the image that you wanted to affect, selected, press that, then you can add a slightly more wacky effect. You can add hearts if you're wanting to make something for say like for Mother's Day or a present for somebody. There's teardrop shapes. There's a whole variation of different kind of cutouts that you can add to make it look a little bit more kind of creative, a little bit more unusual. I quite like that one actually. I like the flow of that little uh, line there. Maybe we could add another one and maybe add it again in the top corner. So you can just add a little bit more of a design to your overall set here. Now also you can then add little lines to uh, the side. So what we'll all need to do is just go here down to outline and then this can actually add an outline around the image. So this takes into consideration the frame that we've just added there. So to make that a bit more visible, you can see that it's kind of quite strong and quite thick, but you can change the width of that and make it a little bit narrower. I think I would actually make it more red just to sit in tune We'll go the opposite end, um, just to make it a bit more in tune with the design overall. And so same again, I can do it on another image. So it just defaults back to the normal gray. So all we need to do is then just choose our preferred color and then choose our preferred width. So we'll take it down to about six and I'm gonna do the same on the top again. So we get a nice consistency. Now, if you wanted to go a little bit further, you can also add a drop shadow in. The option at the bottom here on the menu bar can add a drop shadow, as you can see just around the image. It gives it that slightly more 3D quality to the, the image itself. So we can change the amount of blur that's within that drop shadow. We can change the distance from the image if you don't want it to look spread out and running over the next images. Uh, and then also you can change the direction of it as well. So I quite like the idea of that. I may just... Uh, do the exact same process to the other images. So these are just really nice, I find kind of little features that can help you add a little bit more of a storytelling aspect to your photography. It's also, as I said, a kind of a nice way of being able to put multiple images in one frame together. Maybe you've got a series of images that are very similar and you don't want to put lots of them together, say in the iPhotography gallery, for example, but you actually wanted to kind of keep them all close. This is a quite a nice way of actually displaying them. I'm just gonna bring that distance back a little bit and enhance the blur ever so slightly. There we go. Excellent, so there we go.
So it was just a really nice, simple feature of being able to collage images together, making them a little bit more creative. You like the idea. And this is all using Pixlr in the iPhotography website, which is free to use for any iPhotography student. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Keep looking out for iPhotography for more. Thanks so much for watching.